Well, they're not quite master of the universe, but they do spy on you. Now, Adobe's Flash software is installed on an estimated 98% of personal computers. And this has been a major contributor towards the explosion of online video, powering video players for sites such as YouTube. Now, these Flash cookies, also known as local shared objects, are super cookies. And they never expire. And they are created in central system folders which protects them from deletion. So even if you remove the tracking cookies, these super cookies have an ID. And using the flash data, it can create a backup of the cookie again. Now browsers aren't aware of these cookies and via flash they access and store personal and technical information which is then shared across domains without the user's knowledge and without the user's consent and they track your movements so this is an invasion of privacy now if you use Internet Explorer you go to safety you delete your browsing history you can take all of these boxes and delete them and allow it to clean up if you're using Firefox you might go here clear private data and again you can tick all the boxes and clear private data now if we do a search, if I minimize these windows and I open up the search and I want to search for all files and folders and part of the name will be .sol and I will repeat this .sol I only want to locate it in my C drive and I will search hidden files and folders and subfolders and allow it to search. I'll come back when the search is finished and we'll see what it finds. And there you have the results. There's 10 items found and this is purely by going to YouTube, Google Mail and Yahoo Mail. Now another way of finding these is to open up my computer. Double click it to open, open your C drive Documents and Settings, the local user, your username, Application Data, Macromedia, Flash Player, Shared Objects, and here we have the Super Cookie. And as you can see, they are there. Now you can't delete them from here, you can simply right click and delete. It's that simple. You can go back up, you can delete the whole folder. Now, if you use a program like CCleaner, you need to go to the Applications tab and make sure that Adobe Flash Player is ticked. This will remove them. Now, if you use Firefox, you can use the Better Privacy add-on, which will remove them for you. Now, if we look at the add-ons, we have Better Privacy here options as you can see it's found the super cookies that were installed you can prevent automatic deletion of the folder contents you can prevent automatic LSO deletion which is not a good idea remove LSO remove all LSOs now if we go to the bottom the cumulative count of automatically removed LSO objects to date is 278 and this will increase each time that they are deleted if we go into options you have the option to auto delete flash cookies on application start auto delete flash cookies on application exit if you always ask you get a little pop up auto delete flash cookies by timer and you can preset a time auto delete flash cookies or default cookie settings dot sol and on cookie deletion also delete empty cookie folders dom storage now this allows domains to store large amounts of data about you. It's not limited to a single domain. This covers domains that use super cookies, LSOs. So tick this box to disable DOM storage. Also click this one to disable ping tracking, ping tracking which stops the sites from following you wherever you go. Another one you can use whether you use Firefox or Internet Explorer
is here, Adobe. On their site, you can go to the Flash Player Help, the Global Settings panel, you will get this little window here. Now this, you have the option to always deny access any website from accessing or asking permission to access your camera and or your microphone. And this setting will apply to both websites you have already visited and to those you haven't yet visited. Always ask or always deny. The choice is yours. I select always ask and I block them as I feel fit. Now the default setting is 100 kilobytes on the storage settings. You can also select never ask again and you can reduce the size. Allow third party flash content to store data on your computer. You can untick that box. Store common flash components to reduce download times. With modern computers downloads are usually pretty quick and you can untick that box. This is a personal choice. But if you're going to use the better privacy add-on in Firefox, you can leave them as they are. Now if you go onto the third tab, which is Global Security Settings, always ask. Now some websites may ask access information from other sites. And this is not a good idea. So always ask. Don't select always allow or always deny, always ask so that you're sure. You don't get that many pop-ups. Not from this application. Global notification settings. Now this is to notify you when there's an update to Adobe Flash Player and it's preset for 30 days. You can also set this for another time period. The default you can pretty much leave as it is. If you go to the website privacy settings for websites you have already visited, view or change the privacy settings for access to your camera and or microphone. You have the option to always ask, always allow or always deny. Now, I use the better privacy add-on because it just clears them all out for me. If you don't, select always ask. And you can delete the websites and delete all sites. Now these are real time. This is something that on this page you are doing in real time. It's that simple. Website storage settings. Now the default is 100 kilobytes and I've set it to zero and as you can see they're listed down here. You can delete the website, delete all websites. Now if I close Mozilla Firefox, close the tabs and here we have the option to remove 10 LSO cookies. Now, the add-on, Better Privacy, shows me the location of them and it shows me the SOL files, the super cookies. So, we'll close that. This is the Better Privacy add-on. It's a useful little tool. If I go into the shared objects in my computer. As you can see, we have the super cookies here. So we go back up, click OK, remove the cookies, go back into the Macromedia folder, Flash Player, and it's completely empty. There's nothing tracking you whatsoever. So a couple of options you have there using CCleaner, using Better Privacy add-on, and using the settings in Adobe's Flash Player. If you want more information and you want download links to these, then check out my site, which is Free PC Security, and you will find the information there. And you can find it at FreePC.